Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about dimensional homogeneity. Uh, this is a very important concept we need to understand completely for engineering analysis. It's going to help you for the future engineering courses. Uh, what does that mean? Which means when you have an equation, your left-hand equation and your right-hand equation, they're going to have the same dimension. For example, I can have like you know, foot here on my left hand equation. I can add a foot, inches, and of course there's a unit conversion, right? But you know, also maybe can get meter as I have the same dimension, you know. But one thing we couldn't do is, for example, if there's a person that's a six foot tall and then weighs 180 pound force, and then we has a body temperature of 98 Fahrenheit, can we add them together? Can we add a foot, which is a distance dimension, and a pound, which is a force dimension, and Fahrenheit is a temperature dimension. They have totally different dimension. Can we add them? We know we cannot. So what's that mean? They have to share the same dimension. Um, okay, so a quick example we're going to work on is to see if uh, using the dimension homogeneity see, to be able to derive uh, you know to de derive the other dimensions for example if I have something like uh, have this let's do a simple one first let's do a simple one first let's see uh, first you want to determine f equal to ma is this going to be dimensionally homogeneous? You're going to prove it. Uh, F is going to be, so this is how we solve it. Force is in unit of Newton, ESI. Um, M is in unit of kilogram. And acceleration is in unit of meter per second square. We know Newton is indeed equal to kilogram meter per, sec, uh, per second square, so this is yes. Right? Another example. If F is equal to M V square over R. Okay, so V here is in velocity. So that's in meter per second. And R here is in radius. That's in a unit of meter. Let's see if this works. Let's say force is in unit of Newton, and M here is in mass, so that's in kilogram, and the velocity is in meter per second, that's square, entire thing squared up, then R is in media, uh, meter. Let's see the right hand equation, we'll have kilogram, we have meter square per second square, that's for the numerator, then divide by meter, then cancel out, we'll get kilogram meter per second square. And what do we notice? That is, uh, kilogram meter per second square is indeed equal to Newton. So what do we notice? This is also dimensional homogeneous because right hand and the left hand, they have the same dimension. Now let's look at another one. We have F T2 minus T1 equal to M V2 minus V1. How about this? Um, first, force is going to be in unit of Newton. And a T, here is time. T here is time. So T2 minus T1. So if you have time minus time, what do we get? You said nothing, <laughs> no, but time minus time is going to be still carry the unit of time, right? Which is the unit of second. So basically, when you have the same dimension doing subtraction or plus, they're going to have the same dimension. They're going to carry on the same dimension, Newton times second. All right, then the right hand, M is mass, so that's in kilogram. And the velocity minus velocity is going to be give you velocity. So in terms of unit, right? The unit is still have is going to be velocity. So that's meter per second. 
All right. Now let's look at the left hand. Newton is going to be mass times meter per second square. Let's look at the left hand now. Then times second. Then that would give us kilogram meter per second. And guess what? That's going to be the same as what we have on the right hand equation. Also kilogram meter per second. So this is also dimensional homogeneity, right? Now let's look at another example. F equal to mv. Does this one work? F being force, we know it's Newton. And m is in mass, kilogram. Velocity is going to be in meter per second. Now let's look at the left hand. Newton. Newton is kilogram meter per second square. We notice that that is not equal to right hand equation, kilogram meter per second square, per second. So then we notice this is not going to be correct equation. So is that something? When you just look at the dimension, you can even kind of verify if that equation is right or not. Okay. Now let's look at the uh, last one. If I have F equal to M, V2 minus V1, T2 minus T1. Uh, left hand equation, force is in Newton, uh, mass is in kilogram, velocity is in meter per second, and T is going to be time, so it's divided by time. Now let's look at uh, our left hand. Newton is basically kilogram meter per second square. Then look at right hand. You have kilogram meter also meter per second divided by second. It's per second square. So left and right hand, they both have the same dimension. All right. Okay. So that's what we have so far and uh, for this uh, dimensional homogeneity. See you next time. Bye.